For almost four decades, its cartoonish eyes gazed out placidly over Sadhorn, a commercial district in downtown Bangkok. Now, with its facade stripped back to a concrete frame amid major renovations, the tower affectionately known as the Robot Building is barely recognizable, save for its characteristically blocky silhouette. The building's owners, the Thai arm of Singapore's United Overseas Bank, UOB, say the refurbishment will make its headquarters more energy efficient and employee friendly. While the company would not share images of the proposed redesign with CNN, conservationists and architects, including the tower's 84-year-old designer, who says he was shown plans for the new exterior, have expressed dismay at dramatic alterations being made to an icon of Southeast Asian postmodernism. Completed in 1986, the robot building was intended to reflect changes in the banking industry, which at the time was embracing new computer technology. Its designer Suma Jumsai, who was inspired by one of his son's toy robots, is considered a major figure in contemporary Thai architecture and was named a national artist by the country's government. In an email to CNN, Sumit, who is now retired, decried the defacement of his creation. He described renovations as a devastating statement demonstrating the ignorance and arrogance of big corporations. In March, the architect wrote to UOB Thailand expressing concern over the loss of the tower's original iconic features, including its eyes, and urging it to reconsider plans before it is too late. The bank's response, which was shared with CNN by Summit, acknowledged that the building was a significant landmark but said the planned refurbishment would bring it into a new era while paying homage to its heritage. The bank added that it will keep a replica of the building's original form in a corner of the lobby. Originally designed for the Bank of Asia, the tower was acquired by UOB Thailand in 2005. The firm told CNN, via email, that its renovations are focused on promoting environmental sustainability and enhancing employee well-being for the thousands of workers who will occupy the building upon its reopening in 2025. Bangkok's abandoned ghost towers still stand 20 years after crash. The organization said its redesign will reduce electricity consumption by at least 15 percent, with a new glass exterior minimizing the need for artificial lighting and thus reducing associated carbon emissions. Elevated Design Standing 20 stories high, the robot building's floors get progressively smaller as they rise, giving the structure its distinctive staggered shape. Its iconic lidded eyes served as windows for two executive suites on the upper floors, while the building's toy-like appearance was completed by antennas used for communications and as lightning rods and a series of large metallic nuts decorating its sides. The robot building is among a vanishingly small number of landmarks from the era to have survived Bangkok's breakneck urban development. After recovering from the 1997 Asian financial crisis, Thailand's capital experienced a building boom that transformed areas like Sadhorn. Bangkok is now the world's 14th tallest city, with 112 towers measuring 150 meters, 492 feet, or above, according to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, CTBUH, the Thai branch of Dokomomo International, a non-profit dedicated to preserving modern architecture, said it has identified the relatively diminutive robot building in its upcoming list of the country's 20 most outstanding structures. In an open letter to UOB Thailand, Published in April, the Conservation Group's president, Pong Kwan Lassus, described the robot building as an historical marker signaling the transition from late modernism to postmodernism, an architectural movement known for decorative facades, ornamentation, and a rejection of the mid century mantra form follows function. Bangkok based filmmaker Dana Bluen, who is producing an as yet unnamed documentary on the robot building, said that despite campaigners' pleas, the tower has now lost its soul. While recognizing the tower may have been viewed as a novelty, Bluen said the original design felt elevated and refined. He added, it was still fun, and it was still whimsical. And it was beautiful. When it was built, it was one of the tallest buildings in Sathorn District, he said. Today, the structure is minuscule by comparison, it's dwarfed by these other glass and steel structures all around it. And that made it all the more special.